him injured and Granger who played in the reserves today and had a very good second half and coming into the side Port Pleasure and also Stephen Williams. Port Adelaide has some bad luck by the way in the reserves today and two players being reported in Stephen Clifford one of them. For Nord the changes Hughes and Scanlon both playing in the reserves and coming into the side Adler and Fosdyke now both these players have been in good form were injured prior to last week's game and missed out and they both came straight back in. One of the big duels today was a clash between Jim Till the Norwood strong man at centre half back and Greg Phillips who had been shifted from centre half back to centre half forward after doing so very well in the last quarter of the game against West Adelaide at Alberton last week. Till's had a wonderful season for Norwood. He's been probably their most consistent player over a long period of time and I think a lot of the people went to Norwood today expecting a great clash between two of the strong men of South Australian football. Phillips and Greg Turbel, of course Turbel the acting captain. Philip Gallagher played brilliantly in the reserves today and there's a very good chance that he'll be back in the Norwood side next Saturday. 17,667 as I said, a very big crowd, Norwood virtually packed to capacity and we pick up the game six minutes into the first quarter. The scores Norwood 1-1, Port Adelaide a point. Your commentators Peter Marker and Ian Day. Off for Norwood will be Malcolm Noble, he'll probably do that all day. Probably can get more distance than Warhurst. That's a giant kick. Oh, big leap from behind James. The handball came out. Johnson to Bradley. Bradley's kick's not a good one. Step is under it and takes a good mark. Jenkins provides the run. On it goes to Noble. Aish is loose, but Noble ignores that player, although the ball's coming around in that direction now. Roberts gets out in front of Robertson. Roberts has got it now. Now Button's put his hand up at centre half forward, but Roberts is going to run it to full forward. Andrew Race is outnumbered. Well, the umpire's going to pay a mark to Hughes. I don't know that he had too much of it. Port Adelaide had the run of the ball anyway through Bradley. Hughes will go short. I don't know who he was looking for. Not a good kick. Roberts has got it, got it again. The kick is to Ferring. Ferring will swing the ball around. Doesn't get any distance at all. Turbill ridden into the ground and Turbill will take the free kick. That wasn't a good tackle from Williams. Turbill is also a player that rarely misses from set shots. Acting, acting captain Greg Turbill, of course, Philip Gallagher stepped down from that position with that nagging injury. Turbill lines them up, through it goes. His first goal, Norwood 2-1, Port Adelaide 1 point. Poor kickoff then from the Port Adelaide defence and Abel Norwood back in. But I think the thing that stands out already is the fact that Rocky Roberts has picked up a lot of pace and uh, he showed a clear, clean pair of hills again. The kick by Ferring wasn't all that good across, but at least it, uh, it got it to Turbo where he got the free kick. Norwood 2-1, Port Adelaide a point. Approaching eight minutes now and uh, Neville Roberts is playing that unusual forward spot. It's not forward pocket, it's not half forward. Williams for Port Adelaide. Everett's a chance. Oh, he was being held. Warhurst had hold of his uh, right hand. The umpire saw it. Evans has got the free kick. You can't afford to give those free kicks away. And uh, Warhurst is only a young footballer in terms of experience and age. Evans shouldn't miss this. He gave it a thump. Through it went. Port Adelaide 1-1. A quick reply. Norwood 2-1. Yes, that's not the way to beat Tim Evans. You've got to go for the ball with him with the two umpire system. They're right in on the action these days and there's no question that Warhurst was holding one of Evans's arms down. You've either got to get in front of him or go for the fist away. It's not easy. He's got 109 goals for the season and that's uh, ample testimony to the fact that it's not going to be an easy afternoon for Tom Warhurst. Back to the centre bounce, Russell Johnson and Mike Alleni. Jim Mike Alleni. He's got a big job today. Johnson gets the tap down towards Ebert. McIntosh has got the job at centre for Norwood today. Hoffner can't get rid of it. Ebert does. Craig Ebert towards his brother, Keith Thomas. Kicks a high ball to half forward. Roberts coming in from a distance. Leslie in front. Player on calls the umpire. Martin Leslie playing centre half back for Port Adelaide. Oh, no one home for Port. Hoffner kicks it out. I think on the full. 
the free kick to be taken by Andrew Jarvis. Yes, he just the check side of centre wing. A nice looking kick to the half forward line. Button up, try to hook it back to Roberts. Roberts on the half forward line at the moment. Can't get it clear. Button puts out a long handball. Here's a chance. Neagle. Greg Thomas. Ferring wants it in the square. Thomas can't get it to him. He's going backwards towards centre half back. And Leslie takes a fine mark for Port Adelaide close to the ground. A big job this afternoon at centre half back. But his form has been good an up-and-coming player for Port Adelaide. From centre-half, back kicks long to the lead of Phillips. He's going to get there first, can't bring it down. He got one hand to it. He should have caught that one. Normally he would have. And the umpire will call for a bounce at centre wing. John Hilton and Neville Thorpe in control. Big crowd, must be 17 or 18,000 people. Great anticipation buzzing around the parade ground. Johnson tried to get it away. Ebert did, but it went to Anthony Joe. Andrew Jarvis just kicks a shot off the side of the boot, and that's well out of play on the full, and the free kick will be taken by Tony Giles, I think, on the half-back flank. No, it's going the other way for some reason, Peter, to pick, pick it up. I didn't pick it up. It must have been after disposal FAD. when uh, Andrew Jarvis kicked it. He may have been met late. I think the free kick will be taken by Neville Rocky Roberts. Probably too far out to score couldn't imagine him kicking that distance. He disguises it beautifully to Thomas. No doubt about Neville Roberts' disposal. It's immaculate. Really makes a mistake. Hand or foot. Thomas doesn't either. That goes to Greg Thomas. And this Norwood side can certainly dispose of the ball very accurately and very efficiently. Greg Thomas has been one of the shining lights here at the parade in the past two months. A player with a lot of run. Never stops trying. He's an honest performer. He's kicked truly for his first goal. Norwood 3-1, Port Adelaide 1-1. Fine possession football by Norwood then, and Peter described it well as they, they kick the ball to position the whole time. You wonder, however, with the breeze at their back, where they should be going for a long kick. They've got Fairing up in the square to take the big mark, but uh, Norwood doing it well at the moment. They lead 3-1 to 1-1. 12 minutes into the first quarter, Michael Lenny or Belton snares it well. Check sides one to centre half forward. Phillips not in front, off hands to Gill. Here's a chance, Port Adelaide. Gill lines it up. Oh, he's off line. That's a goal he should have kicked. He may not have an easier opportunity than that. 1 2, Port Adelaide. Norwood 3 1. I think the Port hierarchy would be pleased with it. Davy Boyd and John Cale. Warhurst is taking this kick in. An awkward kicking style, but he gets the ball away okay. Keel in, couldn't mark it. A chance for Andrew Ace. Gets it out in front of him. He can't pick it up. Got to go back and get it again. Intercepted by Huppets. Belton wanted it. Huppets has got it. Backing up well, Giles. Port Adelaide into attack again. Long. Evans comes to meet the ball. One hand, Warhurst. Gill gets it away. Smile through. He wants support. Three Port Adelaide players on him. Stephen Williams gets there first. Wants to get it out, but can't do so. And the umpire said it's a line ball and a bounce. Port Adelaide's half forward line. Williams going to add a lot of bite to the tackling division and also getting the ball out division of Port Adelaide. But they still badly need some runners in form. Here's one of them, Hoffner and Huppets. Two of them, actually. Huppets waiting for the bounce. Didn't eventuate. Max James. Well smothered by Thomas. James butters up again. The handball away is not good. McIntosh through. Thomas to the half forward line. Roberts waiting for the bounce. Robertson there with him. Robertson, Ebert, Martin Leslie, and it's Martin Leslie's free kick, centre half back. He was tackled without the ball. Oh, that's an awful kick away. Ferring's got the opportunity. Hughes has got too much pace for him on this occasion, though. He has to handball the ball towards the boundary line, and Neville Roberts already. Showing up for Norwood, sees the ball roll over. Button's doing all the ruck work up forward for the legs. Russell Johnson, of course, has to do a lot more work. The ball close to the line again for another ball in. Norwood looking dangerous, although they are going with a two to three goal breeze. Taken beautifully by Button off the top. Eckerman chances his arm. Or oh, Neville Roberts was tackled. He didn't have it. Lucky. Bradley's got it. And Nagel kicks the ball. Oh, fairing in front. 
Very, very strong. Hughes couldn't control him, and Ferring took a good mark. That was a very good kick from Nagel. He swung it around instead of going for goal. And big Ferring. He's got a chance for Norwood's fourth. He didn't make a mistake. His first, Norwood 4-1, Port Adelaide 1-2. Problematical whether Nord was suffering a bit from mobility with Ferring at full forward and Button at centre half forward, but they certainly got sufficient mobile players in between to get the ball out and up to them. On that occasion, it was young Nagel. Since he's got his senior berth, he's played particularly well. He got it high back, screwed it very close from the line, and Ferring took the strong mark. Russell Johnson hasn't got right into this match yet. Michael Annie over the top. Johnson got it down to Huppert. So it went straight to Stemper. This Norwood back line is certainly doing well this quarter. Ortiz kicks not a good one. I think it went out before it was marked by Ace. Yes, it did. And the, the relief will be taken by Max James. James towards centre field. Michael Annie up. In between was Stevens. Get out by Danny Jenkins. I was looking for Greg Phillips was the player sandwich between them. Turbo with the ball at the moment. Thought about going short. Now kicks in longer. It's a high one. Ferring getting himself there. Danny Hughes with him. Thumped away quickly. Michael Ace. What a snapshot. Goal. Oh, beautifully done. Oh, you can't give him a centimetre. Dropped it onto the boot. Norwood 5-1. Port Adelaide 1-2. The second quarter here at Norwood Oval. There's Max James. He left the field in the first quarter. So did Michael Ace. He was knocked out cold. Norwood 6-4, Port Adelaide 2-3. Out it comes to Belton. A very high kick, not very effective, getting under the ball. Good mark, Andrew Jarvis. The Norwood younger brigade, younger brigade doing very well today. Buttons underneath that ball. Robertson almost marked it. He's being paid. A bit lucky. Lucky for Port Adelaide too, because Neville Roberts had the ball. Smothered off the boot. Craig Ebert couldn't mark it. Giles in trouble, holding the ball. A good tackle from Adler. He pinned Giles' arms down and Giles couldn't do anything about it. Turbill's calling for it, but Adler's going long. Big Ferring at full forward. Can't mark the ball. It comes out towards Button. He's got it. Very agile, Button. Uses the left boot. Great goal, Button. Agile indeed. He hooked around his body beautifully then. Norwood 7-4, Port Adelaide 2-3. Well, the ball came in high to Ferring and the Port Adelaide defence thumped it away and Button was almost casual in his approach. He was just loping to meet it, casually wheeled around on the left leg and like a rover, socked it through for Norwood's seventh goal. Seven for the legs, Port Adelaide 2-3 and the Magpies have got plenty of problems. Phillips is not firing and neither are their rovers. Russell Johnson, Port Adelaide's top ruckman. He's had a big season. He might be a bit tired towards the end. Russell Ebert can't get it away. Thomas is tackled beautifully by Ebert, holding the ball. Keith Thomas, that was. Ebert goes long. Evans out from full forward. Big leap, Evans. Picking it up, Gill. The kick on the way, just off line, a point. Port Adelaide are certainly marching uphill at the moment. 2-4 to Norwood, 7-4 get the impression that Greg Phillips is playing it a lot deeper than the centre-half forward spot. He seemed to be awfully close to the goal at that stage when they kicked in, but uh, maybe Kale's worried about them bypassing the half-forward line on the smaller than normal Norwood Oval. Kick to the outer side, first recover Stamper, but he lets Thomas take it. A long kick to the half-forward line, getting underneath the ball there was Adler, can't get it. Robertson through, gave a chance to Craig Ebert, short. Port Adelaide to the half-forward line, Stepper getting across and should take the defensive mark. Noble provided some run, but Stemper going back to kick towards the centre wing spot. Adler up, couldn't get the ball. Belton, Huppets around the corner. Huppets not a popular figure here at the parade at the moment. He was the player that uh, was involved with Michael Ace when he was stretched from the arena. Russell Evert couldn't get down to it. Thomas, poor Plesha. Ebert can't catch Thomas. McIntosh, another penetrating, penetrating kick to the half-forward line. Hughes comes to chance his arm, gets it back only however far as Adler. Button in there as well, can't get it out. Play a stack up and the umpire will come in and bounce on Norwood's half-forward left flank. Phillips hasn't got a kick yet for Port Adelaide at centre-half-forward. And uh, as we've said already, the move not working. Ray Huppert's in screen. Johnson. 
Button getting the kick away. Nagel, not very far, diving on top of the ball, Belton. And umpire Hilton will come in for a bounce. Port Adelaide haven't got much going for them at the moment. They're not getting anything from the packs, from their rovers, from Shena, although Russell Ebert is picking up kicks. Paul Pleasure, good mark. Done pretty well since he came on, Paul Pleasure. Kick number five. Up high, Hoffner, no mark. Coming into it now, Kinnear. Can't pick the ball up, having all sorts of trouble. The umpire will bounce it. 7 4 to 2 4, five minutes into the uh, nearly five minutes into the second quarter. Bounce down half forward, right flank. Michael Annie and Phillips. Michael Annie tried to hook it back to Smile. Stephen Williams takes the ball out of play. Same spot. Phillips providing some assistance for Johnson by going for the ruck when the ball's in their attacking division. Smile. Turbo on the half-back line, close to the line. Gets a kick away. Roberts and Robertson. Robertson comes out in front. Intercepted by Adler. Great dash, Tony Giles. Rebounds long up towards full forward. Evans, Warhurst getting back till. Off the fingers, Huppets. Watch back up support. Nowhere to go. Craig Bradley against the tide. Handballs away blindly. Poor Pleasure. Evans well out from goal. Poor Pleasure on the bottom of the pack. And the umpire wants a bounce. Every time that Ray Huppets gets near the ball, the crowd give him a cheerio. Bounce down centre half forward. Port Adelaide desperately needing a goal to get back into the game. Phillips and a free kick is going uh, the way of Jim Michelani against Greg Phillips to be taken at centre half back. The handball straight away to Teal. Teal picks out Andrew Ace beautifully. The Lord's disposal again is far better than Port Adelaide's. Andrew Ace will hook it back towards centre half forward. Button coming in, couldn't take the mark. Nagel runs into Robertson. Eckerman's caught with the ball. And then umpire Hilton will again bounce it. Port Adelaide fighting the attacking. Very, very difficult today. Norwood's defence, very good, very strong. Johnson knocks it very wide. It's going to beat Bradley, I think. Yes, it will be balled in. Right half forward flank for the Norwood side. Norwood lead by five clear goals. Button from behind. Or Andrew Ace was clean bowled by that one. Bradley kicks it forward, didn't look. Michael Annie's underneath it and takes a good mark. Michael Annie's kick looking for Button, but the Port Adelaide players are there. Nagel to centre half forward. Robertson too tall for Neville Robertson that occasion. Plays it on. Onto the wing. Getting out on his Andrew Jarvis. A very good mark. Teal provides the run. Neville Roberts underneath the ball. Couldn't mark it. Robertson caught. Very lucky to get away with it. Thomas. Turbull. Lines him up. Goes. Turbull two goals. Lord 8 4. Port Adelaide 2 4. Fine goal, Norwood. Cool under pressure. The ball came in high from Teal. The Norwood camp wanted a mark paid to Roberts, not to be. Ball came to ground. Robertson couldn't get through, and it was a fine handball from young Greg Thomas out to Turbull, who steadied. Kick number six went through for his second goal, and they lead 8 4 to 2 4. Johnson and uh, Michael Annie back into the to the ruck. Russell Ebert kicks around the body, not a good one. Jarvis marked it. Well, Nord have got running players, and their disposal is much better than Port Adelaide's. The centre half forward, Roberts late on the scene. In comes Johnson, the tackle's on. Back to Stephen Williams. Wide to Eckerman. Gee, the handball wasn't a good one. Bradley wants it. Short goes Eckerman. Here's a chance for Port Adelaide. That was Eckerman's first kick. Bradley to centre half forward. Not good disposal. Smar marks it. Plays on to Adler. Adler didn't have a look, but the kick is to centre half forward. Button in front. Can't mark the ball. Craig Ebert to Giles. Giles will go long with a torpedo punt. Underneath it, Teal. Stemper. Smile. Jarvis is on his own. Smile saw him. Jarvis, good mark. Plenty of opposition from Craig Ebert. See, there's not much of him, Andrew Jarvis, but he certainly holds his ground well. 
on top at the moment at centre wing. A nice kick to the half forward line. Roberts up in the middle of the pack. Robertson as well almost paid the mark. Dummies, he's still in trouble. The umpire said holding the ball. It looked as though he handballed the ball away, but umpire Hilton didn't think so. And it's Button who's got it from 45 metres out on a similar angle. Kicking into any breeze, he might have to take a bit of the left goal post. He's done that and comes back beautifully right through the middle. Button's second goal and the legs going from strength to strength. 9-4, they lead Port Adelaide 2-4. Port Adelaide 3-7, and Ian Day, this is a procession. Peter, it's unbelievable. Who could believe that Port Adelaide would be trailing by 74 points nine minutes into the third quarter? A huge crowd, got to be 17 or 18,000 people here, a perfect afternoon for the game, and yet there's no contest at all. Ferring, he has uh, got the mean look in his eyes at the moment. He's playing well too. Bradley, McIntosh doing an effective job in the middle for Norwood. Kinnear's got that one. But a very untidy kick forward for Plesha the Crumbs. Nat Bradley. Port Adelaide a chance here. Belton's on his own. Oh, Bradley's held the ball up, though. He's going to have to kick the goal himself. He's lined them up. Beautiful kick, Bradley. His first goal, and Port Adelaide have finally got another one. 4-7 to the legs, 15-9. Beautifully done, Craig Bradley. What a balanced player that he was. In the first quarter, Andrew Ace was uh, was beating him, but Bradley's pulled himself into the game, and he's one of the few Port Adelaide players that's giving it everything he's got. And that was a superb passage of play there as he came down the outer side, the east, which he got round the Norwood defence. Ferring and Johnson. Russell Ebert now having a run on the ball. Down it goes towards Thomas. Andrew Ace got it. Caught. Hoffner. Barged his way through that pack. Stemper kept the ball in front of him. Belton in hot pursuit. Over it goes. Stemper wanted a free kick then. In fact, Belton was holding on to him. Umpire Thorpe having a bit of a grin. He didn't agree that the free kick was there. Over the top teal. Landed on his head. Craig Ebert caught. Well done, Jenkins. Craig Ebert gets rid of him. Ferring. Kick that one a country mile to half forward. Button. Here's a chance, Norwood. Michael Annie on his own. He's getting back on it. Oh, he hit the post. Couldn't take the mark, and it's gone through. Michael Annie wants a free kick, but he won't get it. 15-10, Norwood. 4-7, Port. Danny Hughes. Button. Oh, he should have marked that one. Ferring. Can't get it out. Poor Plesha in. The umpire will bounce the ball back in the big centre square. Ferring against Johnston. Or oh, Johnston never got started. Ferring's tap found, however, Ebert at centre wing. Hoffman with a chance. Once again, we see two grab Port Adelaide players this afternoon. Not the one grab. Bradley thought about playing on from Leslie. Now plays on quickly to the half forward line. Nat getting underneath the ball. Thumped away by Teal having a superb afternoon. Thomas to Jenkins. Norwood go forward again to the half forward line. Norwood is back. Turbel out in front. Quickly short again to Andrew Ace. That's put him under pressure. Try to get it out to Thomas. Nowhere to... Oh, look, he just walked around. Three Port Adelaide players and bombs it into attack again. Up towards full forward. One, two, grab. Ronnie Roberts has got it. Port Adelaide look positively anemic at the moment. No pressure at all. And I don't think Roberts even got off the ground to mark that one. Roberts, 35 metres out. Little angle. Has already booted two. What would his odds be, Ian? You, you wouldn't want to back against him, would you? My money's right on him, Peter. Right on anything Norwood does this afternoon. Roberts comes back beautifully with the boot. Right through the middle, his third goal. Norwood 16-10, Port Adelaide 4-7. Unbelievable. The way that uh, Greg Thomas got around the pack, that was an indication of how badly Port are going. The kick went forward. Roberts sandwiched. Two grabs, a great mark. Ten kicks, three goals. He's still a very effective forward, is Neville Roberts. 
Russell Johnson coming in almost uh, on a check side situation. Now it's Ferring's tap again, this time back to Jenny Jenkins. Hooks around to the vacant space centre wing. Hoffner gets the bounce. Giles once again, two grabs, but he's lucky this time because the tackle by Turbo was clumsy and Tony Giles wins the free kick. Still trying hard, but again, an awful disposal by Port Adelaide. Noble playing it in front of him. Still fighting for the ball, and uh, finally the umpire pays it against him for holding the ball. Williams got it over to Johnson. Pushing the back was probably the decision. Up forward it goes. Teal playing superbly at centre-half back. He's got too much know-how for Nat. His kick finds the boundary line. And this Norwood defence has hardly put a foot wrong, but one has got to question the effectiveness of the Port Adelaide forward set-up. It's, uh, it doesn't exist. Jarvis kicks it to centre wing. Port Adelaide players fighting each other for it. Leslie in front, Johnson behind. Johnson put it out to Phillips, then to Huppets, to Williams. And that was well put by Ray Huppets. Williams has marked the ball at centre half forward. He plays it on to give Evans the chance. Or Warhurst in front, brings the ball to ground. Still playing it in front of him. The umpire will come in for a bounce. Port Adelaide is very meek and very soft at the moment, making no impression whatsoever on Norwood. Nat grabs it from the throw-in, can't get boot to ball. Williams has got it. He puts it up, gives it a chance. He's got it. Through it goes. His first goal and Port Adelaide 5-7 now, Norwood 16-10. Well done, Stephen Williams. He's been one player who's prepared to go and get the ball, but on that occasion, he had little time to get it onto his boot. The ball came out to him from the crush, and he jammed it onto his boot, but there's little enthusiasm from the Port Adelaide supporters this afternoon as they trail 5-7 to 16-10. 15 minutes into the third quarter, another poor bounce. <coughs> Huppets runs into a brick wall. Leslie comes away with the ball, the kick... It lands in an open space. Oh, a bad bounce. It's in a half forward. Port Adelaide a chance. Belton's running into an open goal. He put it up well. Let the wind do the rest. Belton's first. Port Adelaide 6-7. The Red Legs 16-10. Neither was his kick. Comes out towards Hoffner. Can't pick it up. Harpers. Teal again. Jeez, like a magnet. Stemper back to Smal. Thought about another handball. Dummy beautifully. Nord into attack again. The big leaps on. Leslie Eckerman. Port Adelaide running out of defence. Short to Bill. Belton's got a panic. He'll put it over the top to Kinnear. Craig Ebert's loose as well. Russell Ebert's made a move down at centre half forward. That's where the ball goes. Not a good disposal. Ebert gets it out towards his brother, Craig Ebert. The uh, umpire's blown the whistle. Ebert got one to the mouth. And uh, we've just gone into time on here in the third quarter. And that may have just been a Port Adelaide's disadvantage. Craig Ebert had the ball, he had the run. Ebert may not be able to make the distance. Yes, he will, in fact, and that's a perfect kick for goal. Goal number one, Russell Ebert. Port 7-9 and Norwood 18-10. Once again, Russell Ebert gave a good lead, but he couldn't grab it on the first try. He worked hard for the ball, and finally the tackle came in high. It's problematical whether, had they played to advantage and let Craig Ebert take the ball, whether he would have kicked a goal or not. But whatever, Russell's kick was a fine one, and Port Adelaide certainly needed it. Russell Johnson, Ferring, do battle, Ferring off the ground, Kinnear in trouble. Can't get boot to ball. McIntosh takes it off him. Nagel's got it now. Well done, Phillips. Smothered the handball. He tackled Keith Thomas when he didn't have it. Back it goes to McIntosh. The handball is a beauty. Nagel's on the rampage again. That's his third goal. What a fine game he's played. 19-10 Norwood. Port Adelaide 7-9. Magnificent running football, Norwood. They've always got more players at the drop of the ball. Backing up is superb. The handball came out as he streamed across the half-forward line. Kick number 11 went through for his third goal, and I don't think I've seen Port Adelaide so humble for many a day. 19-10 Norwood, Port Adelaide 7-9. John Cale can't believe it.
Port Adelaide with Glenelg next week would be watching that top spot pretty closely. Faring very high. Adler knocked it down. Keith Thomas has got it now. He wheels out of the pack very well. Turbles under it. The smash away from behind. Phillips with a good handball wide. Giles. Belton. Belton to Robertson. Made a lot of mistakes early, Robertson. Not a good kick forward. Ebert lost sight of the ball. Comes back to Russell Ebert. He puts a high ball to full forward. Evans gets under it. In front was Warhurst. Well done. Stemper. He's got Teal short. Noble will probably use Teal now. Great game, Teal. Gets a kick back. Buttons underneath the ball. Down it comes to Puppets. He's caught. Button kicks it clear. Roberts out from half forward. Got a bad bounce on that occasion. You win some, you lose some, Neville. Back to Giles. A high ball back, McIntosh under it, an easy mark. McIntosh on the half-forward line, too far out to score. Well clear, however, is uh, young Greg Thomas. He's got it. The sun was on his face, but he marked it all right, created the loose man, loose checking once again by Port Adelaide. He's got the ball 35 metres out. Thomas kicked a goal in the first quarter. He's provided some valuable run for the legs. That kick is going to be just offline. In fact, it may have hit the post one point only. 19-11 plays 7-9. It's hard to say whether Port Adelaide have learned anything from the game, except that perhaps Greg Phillips shouldn't play at centre-half forward, or certainly not on a small oval. Kinnear hooks around the body. Paul Plesha and Smile on his own. Jenkins dropped the mark. Bradley's in there now. Tries to get the ball out. Smile runs away with it. He's done pretty well in the back pocket since taking over from the injured Nicholson. Roberts again. Nagel. Oh, over the top. Greg Thomas. Nord with another chance. Greg Thomas goes backwards. Gives it to Nagel. He's going to run in an open goal. Four goals, Nagel. That's how easy it is. Norwood now 20 goal 11, Port Adelaide 7 9. Port Adelaide defence is a non event. Beautifully done, Nagel. He got the ball, got it out. Rocky Roberts set it all up with that long handball. And then once Nagel gave it over the top to Thomas, he backed up superbly, realising that he'd put his teammate in a bit of trouble. He was standing flat footed. His first effort was a fumble, but then he recovered brilliantly to bolt into goal for his fourth. Norwood 20 11, Port Adelaide 7 9. Ferring has done a lot of work today for Norwood. Well supported by Michael Annie. Russell Johnson's done most of the work for Port Adelaide, but he hasn't been effective. Bradley takes it away from centre. Noble has played well. Ebert tackles. Jarvis. Teal. Too far for Ferring. Belton's got it now to turn the tide the other way. Gee, that's not a good kick, though. Getting under it, Russell Ebert. Noble almost marked the ball. Williams threw it out. Hubbard's got a bad bounce. He's got Nat on his own. He sees Nat out of the corner of his eye. Goes further to Belton. Belton taps it further and further to Evans. There's an easy goal if you've ever seen one. That's two to Evans. Port Adelaide 8-9 to Norwood. 20 goals, 11. Ray Huppert is not having a good day. And Nord went on to win 28-17 to Port Adelaide 10-13. That score of 28-17 is Nord's biggest against Port Adelaide. Their winning margin is their biggest against Port Adelaide. And that 112-point defeat by Port Adelaide is their worst in the history of league football since Port Adelaide have been playing, which is a significant result for sure. Roberts got six, Neagle four, Turbul four, Button three, Michael Lanny three, Ferring and Adler two each. And for Port Adelaide, Stephen Williams two, Tim Evans two and Paul Belton two. Russell, you've been a bit deficient up forward, but it was pretty hard to tell today because it didn't it didn't go down there often enough or with any method. No, uh, we've been going long and uh, we've had a couple of different avenues in the last couple of weeks, uh, apart from Timmy, but uh, today um, Norwood uh, played real finals football and uh, we were found wanting. David Granger looked pretty good in the seconds. I didn't see a lot of the seconds, but he's been keen all week and uh, he, he's a vital part of our side. Yeah. And, uh, he uh, puts that bite into the forward lines and gives us an avenue through there. 
but uh, he uh, sort of hurt his back last week and it was sort of a bit doubtful in a big game like this it was decided not to risk him. Russell, I suppose uh, if you're going to have a bad one, it's uh, better off now than in uh, September. Well, uh, we've just got to react to this now, and uh, that was our basically our first finals game, and we've got to come back from there, which we will. Wayne, you're happy, look, but you don't look healthy. What have you done there? Oh, just a couple of bruises, that's all. Yeah, that's all right. What a great win, and to beat Port Adelaide must feel great. It's beautiful, isn't it? Especially by oh, 17 goals, whatever it is. Over 100 points, and I think yeah, that must be one of the biggest shellackings that Port Adelaide's had for a long time. What did Norwood do today that they haven't been doing for the rest of the season? We just basically ran, I think. Just ran. If the ball was there, we, we, uh, we went straight for it. If the body was there, we took the body out. Were you surprised how little pressure that Port Adelaide put on you for the whole day? It was a bit, but, uh, you know, if, if a team is aggressive enough at the ball and can knock the other team off, they, they can't get their game going. I think we never gave Port Adelaide the chance. Neil, have you seen Norwood so play so well since you've been in Adelaide? Oh, no, maybe Port didn't play quite as well as they normally do. But, um, oh, we can play that way. I think Port can improve a lot. I was really pleased with the result, actually. Was your build-up pretty important during the week? Oh, yeah, I think... Um, we all knew how important it was, so there was no special deals. You know, they knew, we knew that it was probably our first final because uh, Port were the top side, so it was, it was good. But have you ever seen Port fumble the ball so much? Is this the pressure that you applied? Oh, I think it's a, a bit of both. I think it's the way they played as well as the way we played. They, they can improve a hell of a lot on that. The loss of Michael Ace, is he bad? Oh, uh, well, bad enough to be carried off, I guess, but I think, he, I think he's, he's going to live, you know what I mean? <laughs> what, concussion? I think so, yeah. You must be pleased with a lot of your younger players, Nagel, McIntosh, uh, Andrew Jarvis, this type of boy who put in a big effort this afternoon. Oh, yes, we've been pleased with them the whole time. Uh, I think they fit pretty well into it. They understand our game and, and, and have been playing very well. The double chance, happy to get it? Well, have we got it for sure yet? Yeah, we've got well, to win next week, I guess, still, so well, we'd, we'd, we'd be pleased to have results, it. Yeah. Mm. You must be very happy with the side at the moment. Oh, well, after today, a couple of weeks ago, we were very disappointed, and now we're happy, so... Yeah.